or, I was gonna say um, for you, like you've always been somebody. Like, how do you deal with um, the negatives of being in the public eye and being in a relationship? Because I feel like I, you've, you've, that's got to be like a hard thing to kind of like, because you want to keep your private life private as much as you can, but you're also you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, also an artist, and I gotta sing about what how I feel, right? And things like that. Um, honestly, I just tell what I want to tell, and whatever comes out, it comes out because it. I don't know, like it just it, it happens. You can't, but even in that, you don't respond. Like you just, you just deal with it in in your household. But um, I mean, how do I deal with it? I just like oh, I just answered it. I yeah, just tell what know. I want to tell. Yeah, for sure. Um, has there been someone who you've met so far? Because I always say in the music industry, there's tons of like uh, people you know, people mm-hmm. you work with, uh, associates, but not necessarily friends. friends. Uh-huh. Has there been uh, any artists who you've bonded some real friendships with since you've uh, been doing the music thing? Well, well, how would you? What would you call a friend, and what would you call an associate? Well, associates like yo, we work together. We hang, we we did the video. Like you really ain't seeing somebody or talking to them outside of like the work. Like you know, but if there's somebody who you could you know always call on for relationship advice or or music advice or someone you just chat with or just like an actual friend, you know the the difference between a work associate and a friend. I don't have an actual industry friend. Mm. I don't, have, but I do have associates like people that would check on me from time to time, um, you know and. Outside of music and stuff, and I appreciate it because, I mean, sometimes you can't, you can't be friends with people, um, you because y'all don't have enough time. Like, I live in Atlanta. Most of my peers live in LA, mm-hmm. so like we're not seeing each other on a daily basis. Or, but I do have those people that would check on me. I don't really have. I can't say I have friends though. Like that, I'm like this. Week. Yeah, they're like, yo, let's go, let's go get lunch just cause, cause it's Tuesday. No more. I have like more of a. Actually, yeah, I barely have friends so. Like in life, you I have a no. I, I you have a tight I have circle. A st- very tight circle. As you should. Yeah. yeah. No, mm-hmm. that's fair. Uh, on the EP, you got LMA, Eric mm-hmm. Bellinger, Young Boys on here. Uh, um, sh- shout out to uh, uh, LMA, who's also uh, an amazing talent. Amazing. She's amazing talent. What's, she's one of the ones that check on me. She's f- super, super sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Have uh, what, what's uh what, what is that a studio session situation or is that you send this the record off to her type? I of sent it to her because once again I was in Atlanta she, and she's in L A. So, but we did tour together. Um, yeah. For the Mary J Blige tour, we both got oh, to open I, up. Oh, you know what? I was there actually. You went? I went in New in Brooklyn. Did you see? Did you I, see? I was there. Did you see me in the red? In I, the red fur? I was, I was, I, I think I caught the tail end of your thing. Me and Doc Werner were across the street mm. having dinner and then we came and you were on. Yeah. Oh. That, yeah. Cause yeah. That's, I forgot. Yeah. That was a crazy show. The Brooklyn yeah. show at Barclays. Yeah. That, man. She brought, New York's Mary J energy. brought everybody out. Bro. New York's energy be crazy. Like I love New York. Yo, that's crazy. And they're rocking. Yeah. No, that was a while. Again, Mary J had like Fabulous and Puff Daddy mm-hmm. and uh, Jada Kiss and. I feel like Fat Joe. I don't know. It was like all in New York. It was York a lot was of people. Mm-hmm. What well, has uh did, like you and Mary develop any sort of like? She give you some game while you guys. Yeah, were on tour? she definitely gave me some game. She gave me some game for sure. Um, I'm of course every every OG is going to tell you to like keep going no matter what, but she definitely told me like <laughs> she told me to take my time and like wait with marriage. Mm. Um, she been through it. Yeah, she's been through Very it. Very publicly, too. I mean, I've been through it, too, though. I was yeah, already married yeah. before she told me right. that. So, um, But I am. I feel like this time around, I am. We have been taking our time. I mean, right. we've been together for almost six years now. Right. And people complain because, you know, I always I always joke around, like, where my ring at, you know? But um, in reality, I'm just, like, whenever he... I'd rather a man be, like, ready. Like He better hurry up. Yeah, no, six he years? better hurry up. But I'm saying, though, like... You better hurry up. No, but I'm saying that things should be handled before. I feel like um, marital counseling is really good, like premarital counseling before. Before you. Yeah, because like a lot of times I do see like couples last a long time outside of marriage. And as soon as they get married. It fucks things up. They get divorced. And I'm a heavy believer in marriage. I still believe in marriage. I still believe it could work. It's, it all depends on the two people. And of course, keeping God like in your marriage. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, yeah, it ain't, it ain't no rush, but it's not a rush for marriage, but it is like a little rush for like the ring. The ring. Cause yeah. it's like, okay, at least if you propose then we know where we headed, we've had conversations about it. Like right. I know that he's going to, but it's like, okay, 
Six years? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, sometimes men, they want to get certain things out the way. Like, he wants to put out his clothing line. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, they want to feel like they got a portion of their life. If you guys get married, are you making him sign the prenup? Um, so you're going to be the prenup? I, we haven't. We spoke uh, about that. We haven't signed that thing. We spoke about it. Um, I don't know, though. I don't, I don't know. But probably. Yeah, for sure. I just feel like that it's only fair that if we walk away from each other. It's only fair that we walk away with what we came with. You know what I'm saying? I agree 100%. Yeah, but I feel like I got the kind of relationship, too, that, like, I don't think he would ever try to... You don't think? No, I don't think so. I, I you don't think? I don't think so. I don't think he'll try to come for my Get money. Get the pre up. That's all I'm going to say. I feel you. Like, it's smart. It I, is very smart. But I'm just saying, the person that I know... No, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get like, it. I get it. But, um... Run that pre up, bro. A, a lot of women don't think, though, and they do end up, you know, but... Yo, were you, did you ever, when you were on tour with Mary J. Blige, did you ever see, like, how, I always am curious, like, when these, like, like, she wore, like, 11 outfits. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Is there, is there, like, a breakaway pants on all these dresses and shit? Like, the way the NBA players have? Every tour I've done, like, I just worn, like, one. one outfit. I mean, well, no, I've, on my birthday, I feel like I had a show where I changed once. Once. Like, oh, my God, you go behind stage and you just, like, everybody. Is there, like, six in. people just ripping shit off of you? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I just saw. I don't uh, like that. I just saw SZA. Yeah, SZA. SZA had like eleven outfits, and I was just like, it was so fast. That that's amazing. Doing. That's amazing. But like, um, Doja Cat had one outfit. I, I probably would end up end up sticking with one outfit or two if I have a break. I like but that. I don't. I don't feel the need. I don't see the need for all them outfits. I just feel like it'd be so frantic. It like, is. It's like I don't see the need. Um, what's your favorite song on the EP? On my EP. Um, I really like the first song, Fading Away, and I really like the song with me and Monica. Shout out to Monica. Shout out to her. She's a legend. Gunica. Was it, uh, you guys, uh, obviously, she's someone who you grew up listening to? Yes, and. Definitely a big deal to do a song with her. It's a full circle moment, yeah, like, I ain't never think I'd be doing no song with Monica, like. Yeah, like, when I was a kid, it was like Monica and Brandy. That's like, when I thought of, like, R&B, like, chicks, it was Monica and Brandy. Mm-hmm, yep. It was them two, and then. And it's super dope because I get to grow up and be a part of it and they're still like around. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, like how, how long do you want to do music? That's a good question. Um, I want to do music. Because, you know, like sometimes you'll see people like, like, you know, uh, Brandy's a perfect example. Like I, we haven't had Brandy, like Brandy will like come and go like every five or six, seven mm-hmm. years. Like she kind of does it as she pleases now that she's kind of like, oh, geez, is it something like you want to. Okay. So I want to have like, so I j- I dropped my very first EP when I first came here. It did really well. Multiple platinum records. Congrats. Double platinum. Thank you. Um, and then, like, that was 2018. And then in 2020, two years later, I dropped my debut album, Misunderstood, mm-hmm. um, which just went gold. Congratulations. So, thank you. That's a big um, deal. Especially and, nowadays. Yeah. And so three years later, I was supposed to be dropping my, my sophomore album. Um, but instead, I dropped the EP because, like... Paperwork that be taking too long. Like, mm-mm. yeah, so, you, well, you know what it is. These labels, they're like, well, if it's gonna count as an album, yeah, yeah. So I, the 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 way I do it, the way I, I on my contract, I have to have twelve songs on an album. Mm-hmm. If I already dropped four songs and then I turn around and drop an eight song EP, my contract is done. I mean, not my contract, but that portion of the contract. So that they'll consider that a twelve yes. song. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Because sometimes so, you'll, you'll see these major yeah. labels, they'll they'll be like, nah, this is a mixtape, yeah. so it doesn't nah, count against your deal. It counts for me. My next my next uh, album is going to consider my third. Third third album yeah, against. Yeah. Yeah. And I have four. So I would have one more left with who I'm signed to. But um, Capital, right? Yeah, Capital yeah. Records. Um, dang, what was I going to say? What would you ask me? I just asked how, how long, how long I wanna, you want to do this oh, music shit. What I was going to say is I'll, if I could just get a super duper successful like album, um, well, you've and already got a take, gold one. Well, yeah, I know. But, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's something more I, that I'm trying to... I don't know what it is. It's something more that I want, but I don't know what it is. Um, I think once I get more of a the, a general uh, of the general public fan base, yeah. um, then I will... I'm also working on releasing, like, launching a product, too. Um, uh, like, a line. I don't know if it's... I don't know if I'm going to call it a clothing line, but just something really comfy. Um, if I'm really... If I have a really successful business with that, then I could take a break because I don't have to depend on making music for money. Just do it because you want to. 